Hey everybody, this is Kendall. Uh, we are doing a little unboxing or unbagging as it were. Uh, this is something uh, I believe from AliExpress and let's open it up and see what we have. Yeah, definitely AliExpress. Lots of Chinese lettering there. This is a messenger bag. That, of course, I tried to find leather. And wow, look at the color on that. Yes, hopefully the camera's picking this up. Um, so, yeah, let's take a look here at this bag. So, it's definitely a lot narrower than what I'm used to with the messenger bag. And part of the idea was just, um, you know, smaller things. Less of a need for carrying lots around. So, here is a front pocket. bad. Kind of hard to see with the lighting here. So front pocket. Got the zipper. Goes down about about to here maybe. So not quite all the way. Alright. And then this back side. This pocket probably goes all the way down. No. No, the pocket only goes to about here. Uh, so pros and cons to that, I mean, less to to dig in and get lost, but also less less options if you have something tall. Oh, we've got a sticker, or sorry, a zipper getting stuck on that side. Let's see what's going on. It's probably, yeah, it's catching on this uh, inner material here. And then this one goes all the way down. <clears throat> with another little pocket right here. And it goes down about to the same area, right around here. And I'm not sure what this tab is for. Maybe that just, yeah. But this is, I think, more of a padded side. So, we have the handle on top, which is a nice feature, and then the main zipper right here. It's hard to see this on camera, but, but yeah, it goes all the way down. So you have your uh, deepest pocket on this side, and then you have more of a narrow, uh, I'm guessing padded. Well, it's not exactly padded, but if you wanted a uh, iPad or something smaller. This is definitely small enough that you're not going to fit a computer in. So, all right, I will look at it a little more and fill you in. Okay, hey everybody. Um, so I wanted to do a video to show off um, the uh, the bag I just did an unboxing for, and it is a uh, leather bag I found on AliExpress. So let me, before I dive into this, I want to show you my prior bag and kind of why I was looking into another option. So this is kind of a an EDC video, uh, everyday carry. So this messenger bag. Um, I received as a, as a gift a few years ago, and it's a, a beautiful leather bag. It's actually great for the office, for carrying a laptop. It's got, it's got lots of room. It's got lots of pockets in it. Um, one thing I did purchase for it is, I forget what this is called. Um, doesn't even have the brand on it. Sorry, guys. Uh, but basically, it's like an insert just so that a big open pocket 
isn't too crazy. <clears throat> also, it helps you move from bag to bag if you're interested in that. Um, what I was using, one of these pockets was for a water bottle just so it wouldn't tip over inside my bag. So I was using this, uh, but it's a, it's a great bag. The, the downsides really are mostly just that it's really, really big. And so for every day, just, you know, things where you're around the house or you're going out for errands, it's a bit, it's a bit large. That's not even the biggest downside. For me, the biggest downside is I like to have it open a lot. And then if I want to carry it somewhere, um, you either have to kind of just pinch it to try to pick it up because there's no handles that way. Or, you know, you can do the legit closure. So these come down and they do click in place, which is convenient. But you have to do that every time if you want to use this handle. So a lot of clicking, unclicking, uh, just to be able to have a handle to carry it. Or you're fishing for the shoulder strap and you've got to look for it. Uh, and then it's either grabbing both ends to just kind of pick it up or actually putting it on your shoulder. So again, beautiful bag. It's, it's large. It has a lot of room. Uh, I think they got it on Amazon. This is, uh, this is Colm... Colmac or Colmusk C. Um, and I love leather, uh, as you know, and it's the, the way it wears, it's just, it's looking really good. So, uh, first impressions of this new bag. So, a lot smaller, a lot more compact. Um, I've stuffed it full of my things, and I think it'll work. You know, for most just quick stuff, uh, it's got the handle on the top and it's got the shoulder strap. So it's got both of those. So lots of upsides. Uh, one of the immediate downsides is, uh, these zippers. You just have to be careful as you're zipping up, not to pinch this inner material. So you kind of just need to tuck that as you're zipping up. Um, price wise, I don't know what the other bag cost. It was a gift. Uh, this one with shipping and everything. Uh, I'm in Utah, so shipping uh, included was about $35. So um, not bad at all for something like full leather like this. The other downside that I can see is just um, aesthetically, I think... You know, for a man, this could look more like a purse or a man purse. Um, that's okay. I'm not. I'm not worried about that. I'm comfortable in and of myself that uh, it's fine. But yeah, it uh, it's got a lot of strap here, which is canvas, and then it's got the leather on top. So I think it's going to work quite well. Uh, some of the zippers are a little tougher to zip than others. But in general, I think this is good. So maybe we'll do a little uh, quick run through and I'll show you what I've got packed in. Um, so I, let's start in the back here. I actually don't have, oh, I've got some keys. This very back part here. So I'm one of those that doesn't really like the, uh, the fobs just because they get the add extra bulk. So got some some keys here. Um, simple enough. Next compartment. Um, as of now, I just have a book. This is actually a, a good one. Uh, awareness. Uh, I've heard this recommended a few places. And yes, everything else that back one is, is empty. Um, okay. Let's jump into the middle pocket. It's the biggest. One thing that, you know, I'm a little weird, but, um, well, first let's go through. So I'm a diabetic, so this is a blood glucose monitor. Uh, and then I've got, uh, I've got some snacks. 
there's this little ledge pocket here. So got like some snack nuts, um, granola bar kind of things. So nothing crazy. But as a diabetic, I like to have a juice or two just in case. Uh, so I've got those in here. I've got two juices, which may seem crazy, but um, I've had instances where I've needed both. Uh, but then I like I like to drink out of a glass water bottle. Again, I'm a little weird, but, uh, but yeah. So you add in the, the juices and the water and that's the main reason for carrying this, just so that I've got those handy. So that's the main pocket. Um, now it's got this, uh, this little pocket here. I believe I just have a wallet. Yeah, so wallet and some earbuds. So pretty basic. And then this last one, I've got one of these, uh, you know, pills for morning and evening and uh, sunglass case. So that is about it. I know some people love this, some people don't. Um, I actually do quite like to see how people are carrying things. Um, I'm curious what you think of this bag. Uh, are you a sucker for leather like me? Uh, do you have other, other uh, options? I'd love to hear about those in the comments. Uh, if you would uh, please give this video a like, that helps me a lot. And, uh, and yeah, subscribe if you have not already. I appreciate it. And I will chat later. See ya. Almost forgot. I know I do a lot of fountain pen videos on here. People are going to say, where do you keep your fountain pens? Uh, well, I do have a little three carrier case. Um, this is if I'm going into the office. This works well. So if I'm doing that, it would be the other bag anyway. Um, I don't think I would carry any fountain pens in this bag necessarily, but that's because I always have my pocket notebook. And right now I've got this uh, Moonman A1 in it. Just always store it nib up in your pocket. Um, again, leather, this is a Plotter Mini 6, which I have a review video for. And um, so yeah, I've always got something to write with, something to write on, and no need to store it in the bag. So again, thanks.